Well, the OTAs and mandatory mini camps are still going on here in the dog days of summer as we're approaching on that. The NBA Finals are done with the NHL the NHL Stanley Cup is uh, winding down, but it is coming to a dramatic finish, I will say that. But we're now pretty much in the dog days of summer. So I'm just going to be talking about mini camp and some extension possibilities for the Pittsburgh Steelers and who I think will either get extended or should get extended. What's going on, everybody? I am Mac. Back with another video. As always, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram, link down in the box below. So Omar Khan, he has some work cut out for him as far as extending a couple of these players go and who needs to walk. So let's get on to it. I have five candidates or at least people in mind who could be getting extended or probably will not be. I'm just going to give you my personal opinion on it right now. So let's start with the elephant in the room in Cam Hayward. So Cam Hayward has given has been putting up a lot of headlines in the offseason for the Pittsburgh Steelers. He uh, didn't come to OTAs at one point because he was holding out for a contract extension. And personally, I believe he's going to get a new contract because that's what he asked for. But I really don't think it's in the Steelers' best interest to give him one. Um, like I said, likely it's likely to be done before training camp starts. And I think the reason why is because we know he's a locker room leader. He's been with the team for over a decade now, almost 15 years to, to be exact with you. But I think with the front loading, with the money that's going to be given to him, it's not going to be so much of a bad cap hit. But it does, you know, and, and while it does sound like a good thing that Cam could still be here and, you know, he could be getting that money, I really don't think it's really worth it in the grand scheme of things because, you know, he's old. I, I hate to say that he's old. I mean, you're looking at a guy who's in his early to mid 30s. And also, you got to remember, he missed a lot of last season as well. He was hurt. And while he did come back and the defense did perform significantly better when Cam Hayward came back, do you really want to risk his health again and him missing substantial time in the defense taking another step back? I really don't know if it's a very wise move to do that or a very necessary move to do that. But if it is involving the money smart aspect of it, and it doesn't really detriment our cap hit all that much, then maybe you're kind of looking at a damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of situation right there. But me personally, I would not extend Cam Hayward, but I just know that the Steelers are most likely are going to extend him. So that's it with Cam Hayward. Next to bat is Pat Fryermuth. Now, Pat Fryermuth, I believe, will get extended, and there's a very good chance he could get extended before the season or even more realistically during the season. Why? Because he's made a lot of good headlines at OTAs. He's really stepped things up at OTAs, and he's had some pretty good mini, uh, mandatory minicamp experience as well. And Pat Fryermuth has quickly also has very – quickly evolved into a fan favorite here in Pittsburgh. So I really do think that if Pat Frymuth does step up his game and he does turn in a prolific season, because he pretty much is our number two receiver at this point, when you take into consideration with all the things, I really do think the Steelers are going to extend him. Now, I don't think he's going to get money. I don't think the Steelers are going to go money crazy with him with guys like Travis Kelsey TJ Hawkinson, George Kittle, Dallas Goddard, Mark Andrews, etc. You know, like the the top tight ends in the league, they're getting paid 14, 16, 17 million dollars. I don't think Pat Fryermuth is going to get that kind of money. But I think what the Steelers are planning on doing with Pat Fryermuth is that they're just going to see what he can do with Arthur Smith's offense this year. And if he does step things up, they're going to give him a, a a handsome reward with it as well. So no doubt in my mind, I think Muth is going to get extended. It's just a matter of when he's going to get extended, which if you ask me, I think it's going to come during the season. 
Next up is Russell Wilson. I do think Russell Wilson at some point will be extended. Now, we know the news with Russell Wilson. He's here on a one-year deal, veteran minimum. Denver's paying $38 million for him. So that's the whole reason that Russell Wilson is here. But if he does show that he was not the problem in Denver, he has a, a strong start and he turns in a, a solid season for us, I have no doubt that the Steelers are going to lock him up for about maybe two or three more years. That's only if he has a strong start. I'm 50-50 with Russ getting an extension because if he shows that, yeah, he like it, like everyone's saying, oh, he's washed up. Oh, he don't got it anymore. He was never a good quarterback. He was a product of the Legion of Boom. He benefits from a strong defense. Well, you got to know the Pittsburgh Steelers, first of all, have a strong defense when they're when they're healthy and when they're at their peak. So you got to understand that as well. So if you're going to say, oh, Russell Wilson benefited from the Legion of Boom, well, guess what? The Pittsburgh Steelers, when they're healthy and they're utilized right, they have one of the best defenses in the league. So I think Russell Wilson has all the intangibles with a young team, some receivers that are eager to get out there and perform, a run game, and a new offensive coordinator that benefits his play style better. I think he's more than capable of having a strong start to the season. And if he does, like I said, that can give him an extension. But like I said, let's say that he just falls off and it shows that, you know, he was the problem. He was a big part of the problem in Denver and he's just done. Well, I mean, it pretty much doesn't cost us anything because we're only paying him the league, the veteran minimum. Denver's paying the rest of his salary. Like that all goes down to it. So Russell Wilson, like I said in the very beginning when we first got him in spring, it's low risk, high reward for us because now we have another option, a quarterback, if he fails. And that's Justin Fields, who's significantly younger than him. And Justin Fields, if he does perform well, he is that type of quarterback where you can give him that five-year extension or maybe you can have him be the franchise quarterback. We have that guy on that bench. A lot of people are saying Justin Fields is the best QB2 in the league right now. And while I'm not a huge Justin Fields fan, I, I have said, you know, those who follow me, I'm not a big Justin Fields fan. But if he is here to be the backup, I'll take it. Let's see what Russell Wilson can do first. So, yeah, I'm up in the air with Russell Wilson being extended. I think he will if he does have a strong start. If he doesn't, then we're going to let him walk. Justin Fields is the guy. So there you go with Russell Wilson. Then we got Jalen Warren. The next two are kind of lumped into one, and I think you know who I'm talking about specifically. Jalen Warren's next up. I think Jalen Warren's going to get extended. Great pass protector, great yards after carry, elusiveness, quick feet, all-around great running back. He finds open lanes. He was a very elusive player. He's been a very productive and elusive player for us for the past two seasons. While I don't think that he's approached that elite level yet, I think he has that potential if he's used more. And if he outdoes Najee Harris, like Najee Harris turned up the Jets in the final chunk of 2023, I think Jalen Warren can definitely get to that kind of level. Now, the thing about Jalen Warren is that he is a restricted free agent in 2025. So I don't think the Steelers are going to give him big money, but all I think they have to do is just keep using Jalen Warren the way that they've been using him the past couple of years, and he does turn in the numbers that he's been turning in, and I think Jalen Warren has an easy extension on his hands. So there you go with Jalen Warren. And then finally, Najee Harris, pretty much the same story as Jalen Warren. We did decline Najee Harris's fifth-year option, so he is eligible for an extension. But really, it just kind of boils down to I think one of these guys at running back are going to get the money. So you got it. So pretty much with Najee Harris and Jalen Warren is that these two are going to be competing with each other all season to see who's going to be the long term running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers for the next half decade or so. Najee Harris, I think he does have a strong case with it because he's had 1,000 yard rush seasons in each of his first three seasons in the NFL. So I think that alone is enough to warrant that. 
But if you ask me, I think Jalen Warren has just been the bigger surprise. But you can't really not you can't really knock off Najee Harris either. And I think if there's any player to really burst on the scene in the NFL this year, now that he has a new offensive coordinator, now that he has an OC that understands this type of play and an OC that's run heavy, it's definitely Najee Harris. I think this is Najee Harris's role to lose right here as far as getting that extension goes and being the anchor of the offense here. I think Najee is primed to have a breakout year finally and to, for people to really see why that we took him in the first round of the draft in 2021. So, like I said, I think Najee Harris and Jalen Warren are definitely going to be competing with each other for who gets that extension and who's going to be the anchor of the offense long term, but we're going to see down the road. But, yeah, man, that's it. Those are my five candidates on who – I believe are going to be potentially signed and extended by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the 2024 NFL season. Do you guys have any other options in mind? Let me know in the comments below and uh, looking forward to hear the responses. This is Mac checking on out for the day. Have a good one, everybody.